Welcome to Office 2010 video project number 12. Hey, in this video we want to just briefly talk about uh, objects like pictures and clip art and word wrap. Now I've already opened up a blank word document and saved it as word wrap and objects and of course I saved it to my uh, word class notes. There it is right there. All right. Now we did see how to insert pictures and clip arts in an earlier video. But here we want to do that again. Um, but we want some text on the play page, and we want to see how to orientate the text and the inserted object. All right, let's type some text. Here's that trick we learned earlier. We can actually create a bunch of text by typing the word e uh, the equal sign, R-A-N-D, open parentheses, close parentheses. And when you hit Enter, by default, it's three paragraphs. Right? Now, what would happen? Just for kicks, we want to put our cursor right about there in the two and type a, a space. What if we p inserted a picture right here? How would Word treat it? Would it treat it as a floating object or as a character in a paragraph? Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to go to Insert, Clip Art. I've already, oh, I still have Cornucopia from our earlier videos. I'm going to just, sl you can do whatever picture you want. I'm going to click to insert and then close this clip art pane. Wow, look at that. If I click down here, space, space. So literally, Word is treating it as a character, just like if I type the letter A. Now, I could move this. I'm going to move this. And you could see that little gray box. But notice, I'm limited to where I can move it. It's just, it's got to be somewhere where there's actual text. Let's go ahead and I'm going to actually insert it, put it, move it. I'm using my move cursor, that four-way diagonal. You click and drag right there. I see that gray bar. I'm going to click and drag it. Now I want to change the word wrap. Now you can right click word wrap and there's a list or if you have your picture tool format, you can come up to here. By default, it's in line with text. That means it's treated as an individual character like the letter A or the number one. All the rest of these, whoa, look at that preview. So I can get the text to wrap around it. But all of this square, tight, see how that one's like a square, this one's tighter, through, top and bottom, that means there's some text below, behind, oh, so you can like put an image behind. And then actually you could fade it using the picture tools up here. There's a bunch of fading up here, which I'm not going to do in the video. Uh, but right in here, you can play around with those. So behind, in front of. Oh, how cool. Now let's just go ahead and click Tight. Now probably, um, yeah, I mean, maybe you want your text wrapping around like that. So you've got the space right there. But let's look at a um, slightly different. Let's move it down here here. Now, wait a second. Look, I can actually move it anywhere, right? I'm actually going to control Z, 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 Z until I get back to this. And what I want to do is I want to, uh, now I have, because I controlled Z, I'm back to this one. It's treating it as a character. I'm going to come to the end of this paragraph. Now, I'm going to put my cursor right there, and I'm having a hard time clicking right there. So I'm going to use my arrow keys, arrow key. Now, you can see my arrow keys on the other side. There's a space and then a period. I'm going to hit backspace to get rid of that space and Enter. Now, let's see if I uh, go ahead and do that same uh, word wrap again, format, word wrap, tight, or square. All right, so that actually looks kind of cool, right? So now you could have your uh, regular formatted paragraphs and then insert a picture and have the uh, text nicely wrap around it. You can also see there's a bunch of other options, right? So you can choose whichever you want. I'm going to click Escape. Uh, one last important thing. This is called the floating. Again, the only one that's not floating is that first one, Escape. But notice this. This is a non-printing character. This tells you where the picture is anchored. So if I were to uh, hit Enter here, Enter, Enter, you could see the, pic the uh, picture is moving down because it's anchored with this paragraph here. I'm going to Control Z. But if I come down here and hit Enter, Enter, it's going to stay because it's anchored up there. So it's literally anchored to that uh, paragraph mark. All right, Insert 
some sort of object, um, word wrap, uh, in line with the text, or a floating object. All right, see you next video.